What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. You either love or you hate the ASMR sip, but this is a thousand dollar Sim Heiser mic, so we sip in here. Drop a thumbs up if you want to subscribe, make sure you hit all, otherwise you might be randomly unsubscribed. But today's PSA rant stems from my last PSA rant when I go into don't shake your peptides, don't store gear in the car. There's the card in the corner if you want to watch that one, where this one comes from. This is a more touching topic, right? So a lot of the comments were like, oh, you know, they probably hide in the gear in the car to hide it from their significant other. Listen, I'm just going to keep it real here. If you have to hide your gear from your significant other, like just move on and find a partner that understands like it's 2022 here. Like how can they use birth control their whole life and fuck up their hormones when you can't use a little TRT? HRT and tremendously boost your quality of life doesn't compute in my brain and here comes the plug right if you go with elevate alternative which is my TRT clinic like how can they argue with you being medically supervised your blood work constantly monitored and elevate gives you access to stuff like Anivar, HGH and other compounds to add on top which they can put together a package for you and monitor your health professionally, licensed physicians and doctors, right? How is your wife, significant other gonna argue with you wanting to increase your quality of life? So there's the plug. But in all reality, right, this is really common, right? Now I'm not talking about, you know, the fucking teenage dumbass who's juicing his brains out in his parents' house. Like if you're under your parents' house, that's your parents' rules. That's different, right? My parents, they didn't like what I was doing at 18 and boom. You know, I just left, got an apartment, did my own thing, right? If you can't afford to do it all on your own, but you're spending all your money on gear, you have your priorities and financials out of whack. Going enhances, you know, a big expense. I'm more aiming at like the older guys that, you know, their wife would leave them say oh you're shortening your life blah 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 listen there's a risk to reward with everything risk to reward with everything right i'm sure she would be fine with you going to the bar and deteriorating your health all the time or binge eating shitty food and deteriorating your health but if you want to boost your quality of life for a risk that is harm mitigated by medical professionals with TRT and HRT. Why should you have to store all that in your car? Why should you have to hide that from your significant other? Your significant other, if they are significant in your life truly, right? Swallow the black pill and smell the roses. They should be understanding of your angle and viewpoint on why you want to be enhanced, how it's impacted your quality of life, because like you're ruining your gear, storing and hiding it. And there should be no shame, right? I'm on YouTube, you know, I show myself fat. I show myself with my giant nipples. You know, I document my penis enlargement. Like I don't got no shame. I don't give a fuck. Why are you giving so much of a fuck that you're hiding your stuff from your significant other? You should sit down at a table and be like, listen, this helps boost my quality of life. My natural testosterone is like 300 to 400, 200 to 400. And I would personally like to be optimal around 800 to 1000. That doesn't impact my biomarkers too bad. Or you can have the topic of, oh, I want to compete in competitive bodybuilding. This is something I always wanted to do. And I know it's dangerous. I know it's a risk, but it's something on my bucket list. This is my life. I want to do what I want to do. I just want to be transparent with you, open with you. If you leave me, it's okay. At least we had this conversation. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't compute in my mind, right? With the bodybuilding, it's just like race car drivers are fine. That's just as dangerous. There's tons of just as dangerous activities that you could be doing. Like my motorcycles I own in my garage, way, way, way more dangerous than steroids by 
country mile. And there's day-to-day -day things that are more dangerous, in my opinion, than steroids. But it shouldn't be embarrassing. It shouldn't be embarrassing. All these women are on birth control, massive amounts of estrogen. In my opinion, that's impacting their quality of life. I don't like that, but that's their decision. They can do what they want with their body. You know, I'm not going to make them hide their birth control from me. I, I don't care what I truly want them to be on birth control fucking up their hormones and gaining a bunch of weight and fucking up their mood with all that extra estrogen no but at the end of the day as the significant other you know i'm understanding of that i'm willing to come to the table and be like okay you know this is your life this is you know your quality of life with the birth control you don't want to use other contraceptive methods that's fine and you do what you want with your body is it going to impact your mood and emotions and everything yeah the birth control definitely might you definitely might turn into a bit of a different person. But at the end of the day, you're your own person. You make your own decisions. How come when the table is turned, when you want to do androgens to boost your androgens into a normal level, all of a sudden there's this heated argument with a significant other like don't let this woman control you there's a girl out there who's going to understand there's a girl out there that would rather see you have a higher quality of life maybe shave a few years off from the higher androgens than live the whole life in misery with low t not feeling like a dude and obviously you can go through all the natural methods to boost your testosterone and once you check all those off and it doesn't work there's really no ploy and argument on her side if she's against it after you said you went through all these steps to naturally try and fix it and it's not at the level you want it at so there's no reason that you should be hiding it you should be completely transparent with your significant other about it and if they leave you over it trust me a better one's gonna come into your life that completely gets you right there shouldn't be this fake facade you have to put up with your significant other over some freaking testosterone especially when you know this fat acceptance shit is going around all this shit is going around and we're pointing the fingers at the dudes doing trt and hrt and bodybuilding like i could list off and rat off a million stupid habits that are worse with no actual perceived reward other than like you know a little bit of instant and gratification from being high or having a dopamine high from eating sugar or, you know chewing and getting that high or drinking and like poisoning yourself like trt is going to enhance your quality of life it's going to enhance your work output it's going to enhance your drive it's going to enhance your vigor it's going to enhance your libido sounds like a pretty good deal for the risk if they're mitigated by a health professional sounds like you're believing in the propaganda around trt hrt more than actually looking at the hardcore facts woman so if you have a chick who's like that come on wake up smell the roses you shouldn't have to hide that there should be no like keeping it away from her like the minute i decided to do stuff i told my girl like this is what i'm doing these are the potential side effects you want to walk you can walk otherwise i was completely transparent with you and anytime i go on trend i let her know way in advance that i'm going on trend like hey i'm going on trend this is like the most androgenic compound ever this is gonna fuck up my mood i need to use this to compete or i need to use this for a couple weeks to sensitize my androgen receptors the igf1 just letting you know i would definitely be moody and to expect that they let you know when they're on their period and you deal with that shit it's a two-way street and if you're okay and accept the risk because there's risk to a lot of things that you accept every day it's just like it's just embedded in your mind to accept them right there's no propaganda around the extreme danger or the extreme damage to yourself where there's not a lot of propaganda and actually encouragement especially in the processed food industry about that it's all based on the propagated lies and the hidden truths about certain things that change the overall public's perception to view things at a certain angle. Honestly, I'm a dude who's unbiased and looks at it right down the middle. Obviously, HRT and TRT has its associated risk. It has its associated benefits. When you weigh the amount of benefits to the risk and the mitigation steps to mitigate the risk, it's a fair deal in my opinion compared to a lot of other things. So there's no reason you should be hiding it in 2022. Send us to your friend that can't tell his wife that he's on gear and tell him to stop being a fucking pussy. I'll see you in my next video.